you've had this blessed career. You've had so many fantastic roles. You really seem to relish what you do. You enjoy it. And you've had these parts come your way. And some of them must have seemed like, that's not a good idea. Like, for example, when they come to you with Big Lebowski, and you think of all the other great iconic roles you've played, did you know right away that's a great movie? Did you think this is going to be good? Well, I, uh, I'll tell you what, on that one, it was tough. I read the script. I loved the script. But I'm playing, you know, this pothead guy, you know. And, but not that I have anything against potheads. Right. But... Yeah, let's just get that out there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Bridges has nothing against potheads. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. Live live, man. But I'm a kid of a famous guy, you know, Lloyd Bridges. Lloyd Bridges, you know, your C-Hunt, dad. You know, yeah. remember that? Of course, you know. of course, one of the and great. So, and so I know there's kind of a downside to being the kid of a famous person, you right. know, because there's a lot, a lot of baggage and people think, you know. So, so I thought, you know, I don't know how my my girls, I had three young girls at that time, and how they were going to feel, you know, they were going to get teased or how they would feel about that. Right. So I put it that to them. I said, you know, this is like, He's into, you know, uh, smokes, you know, drugs. He's, uh, how do you, so you're, you know, asking how do you, your, you're asking your kids, yeah, should get, I play get this permission, guy? Get permission, kind of, you know, oh, from yeah. my wife and my kids. Wow. I never ask permission for anything that I do on, <laughs> I've in my entire career. No. They would say, don't do that. You'll look like an ass. So, no, I've never done anything. But you asked well, that's permission. Well, that's what I was, I was, you know, went yeah. and, and the pause, you know, and then my middle girl, Jessie, said, Dad, you're an actor. It's pretend, you know, we know that you play, you know, when you kiss, uh, you know, other women on the films, we know that you still love mom, so go for it, go do it. Good so, for her, that's how we got, I'm, I'm glad she said yes. Me too. It is such an iconic film that there's something called Lebowski Fest. It's a two-day festival <laughs> where fans dress up as the characters in the movie and they go bowling and there's parties and they watch the movie. We actually have, this is a still oh, from oh, Lebowski oh, Fest. Oh, oh. And yeah, it's just like, I'm curious, have you been to Lebowski Fest? I have played a Lebowski Fest. My band, The Abiders, you know, Harold and the, Yes, Lebowski. he abides, the dude abides, yeah. We, uh, we played the uh, Lebowski Fest, and uh, it was sort of my Beatle moment. You know, I mean, you know, and now, the dude! And I come out and I rock with these, to a sea of dudes, really. They're all dressed up <laughs> like that. But you've got, in the audience, you have bowling pins, uh, you know, the more bizarre outfit. There was one guy who dressed up like the drawing. I don't know if you, this is... A, a, bizarre reference to the movie, but right. to the drawing that Jackie Treehorn yep, yep. does, and the dude takes that. One yep. guy was dressed up like that guy with the bone. You have, <laughs> you have people that are going so deep, and for you to go to that event, you would be the ultimate god. Oh, what a oh, great it was, feeling. Oh, it was wild. We just had a wild time. Yeah, amazing.